I was not really interested in antique stuff for most of my life. Uh, I don't know what happened, maybe like seven years ago, eight years ago, I just got interested. My name is Paul Tuttle Jr. Uh, I have a company here in Montgomery, New York called Paul Jr. Designs where we build custom motorcycles. We do all kinds of design work, but predominantly custom motorcycles, and we have had since 2002 uh, a show called American Chopper that's on the Discovery Channel. Yeah, this shop in Montgomery has really been great. I've only been in here for two years, but what's great about it is I have about 3,000 square feet in the back, and in the front I have a 2,000 square foot showroom. Um, I live in the town of Montgomery, and it's right down the street from my wife's shop. This has been a pretty special shop for me, uh, mostly because it's kind of, it's, it's made it so that I can do everything I want to do close to home, but also it's enabled me to have a place for the people who appreciate and love what I do. They can come and they can see uh, the different bikes that they've watched being built on the show through the years, and also my eclectic mix of antique, uh, early transportation related stuff. I was not really interested in antique stuff for most of my life. Uh, I don't know what happened, maybe like seven years ago, eight years ago, I just got interested. I saw a car that I liked, so I went and bought one, and then I started collecting Hudson cars, and I got collected a bunch of them and sold them, uh, and then eventually started to get into the signs a little bit more, and some of the more early stuff, and then I fell in love with unrestored original things, and that's kind of what I've been sticking with. Now, I just love things that are factory original from turn of the century, uh, especially transportation related and more in particular motorcycle because it relates to what I do for a living now. And I look back at the history of motorcycles and I think, man, all the innovations for back then and I see the way these things were built and it paved the way and it's really allowed me to do what I do today. So I have such an appreciation uh, for those particular pieces, you know. I have a couple favorites here. Um, they're not even the most valuable pieces that I have, but I think historically important. I have a Zeppelin that was built by Goodyear uh, in the late 20s. That's a pre-production prototype of the Akron. Uh, it is just a, it's a piece of American history. That's the only way I could put it. Um, I also have a postal cart um, that I placed between 1902 and 1906, original paint, and that would have been delivering the mail right in Massachusetts. Um, and then I have a couple of, uh, I have four uh, early unrestored motorcycles, and those are some of my favorite too, because they're so rare and unique. I have an 09 Indian, a 13 Excelsior, an 18 Harley, and a 15 Thor. So I like, I like mixing it up. These are all, you know, very well preserved, very desirable bikes. And what's most important to me is they've never been touched since the factory touched them. No one's ever touched them since. No one's taken them apart. No one's repainted them. And to me, that's, that's what I absolutely love. And I love that in the signs that I have as well. Uh, you know, for me, I just want to invite people to come down and see my showroom. I love when people come in here. Quite often I'm here and I'll walk people around and explain to them what the various things are. Um, the beauty of it is, is you can get a history lesson and you can see all these bikes you've watched us build on the show for all these years. We are on Tuesday nights on Discovery at 10 o'clock.